you join us on our doorstep. And this is On My Doorstep with Fraser and Parker. Today on episode one of On My Doorstep, we're going to be going to the National Maritime Museum, Cornwall. Parker, do you think you could tell us a bit about the National Maritime Museum, Cornwall? Indeed I can. Uh, It opened in February 2003. Uh, and unlike other national museums, receives no direct government support. Um, it has a boat workshop, multiple gar- galleries, and a. Why don't you come on over, gallery? Thank Sorry, you. A and a. It has touring uh, ex- exhibitions come in uh, every once in a while to change things up a bit. Like um, we we saw the pirates. We had Monsters of the Deep just before Pirates. And I don't know what was before Monsters of the Deep because we weren't here. But they have exhibits that come in. They have a whole exhibit hall that they sort of updo for each exhibit. It's a good laugh. Uh, It's £16 a ticket, but that ticket does get you a whole year's access. So you're paying 16 quid for a year. Or I think it's a fiver for just a day pass. For each place we go to, we're going to go on TripAdvisor or similar websites and find the highest rated review of each place and also the lowest rated review of each place. Parker, could you read us the highest review, please? This is from ExterGirl123 with a five-star review, a whole lot of info, posts on July 2023 as a solo post. I I assume that's what solo means. Uh, What a lot of interesting info and beautiful boats. Great tide to tower. That was fab. Pirate show for the kids. Great interesting pirate exhibition and a fabulous tattoo exhibition too. I spent a really rainy day here. But uh, Cone? (laughs) Yeah. On a dry day too. It's ace. Well, I'm going to read everyone a one star review from Jade W from Essex. One star. Not worth the money. Was not impressed. Oh, God, this is a bloody essay. No, it's not. Was not impressed. For the amount of money it cost to get in, I personally don't think it was worth it. We had teenagers and a four-year-old with us, and they all found it boring. The only goodbye was the show. The parking here is a joke. You can only park for three hours, so personally, £6 for three hours wasn't really worth it. Shame, really. £60 for three hours? Where are they parking, is my question. Probably the Maritime Museum Farm. Well, that's not £60 for three hours. We were there for four and I paid oh, five no, pounds. Oh, well then that's outrageous. But then, yeah, but maybe they didn't realise they got a year with that and they could have just spent five pounds. With that out of the way, I reckon we head to the National Maritime Museum in Cornwall, Falmouth. <laughs> My knees don't work that well. Where are we, Jess? We're at the National Maritime Museum, Cornwall. There, there's carry boats hanging from the ceiling. So we've come to the Maritime Museum, the National Maritime Museum, um, to see a certain someone in a certain show, uh, the Nerdy Brits in a pirate show here. So we're going to, we've already seen it, I'm not going to pretend like it's a raw reaction, we've seen it, it's very good. But fish! <gasps> Big one! Oh my so God. what we've done... Guys, I'm pirate. So, step one, they, they've got, it's, obviously it's maritime, there's loads of boats and, and boat history, they've got a pirate exhibit on at the moment, which is why James is doing the show. But the first part of the day, the show starts at 11, it's currently half 10, so half an hour. There's a little viewing platform. Jess is thoroughly enjoying herself. Is there a fish? I want to see the fish. I, want to... I mean, last time we came and looked out there, we saw like one fish about this big, so to see some big fish is very cool. And we had a mate came yesterday and saw a jellyfish, so I've got my fingers crossed. Just have a little breakdown on what we've done. A lookout. I haven't been to the lookout. Have you been to the lookout? No. But there was a lookout. Oh, it's that white thing at the top that looks like a lighthouse. Yeah. Well, what are they doing then? Bridge gallery, galleries, cafes, cafes, centres, toilets, quarter deck, pavement, cafe, toilet, lots of cafes. Lots of toilets. (laughs) Main hall, boat hall, workshop. Gift shop. I've got to go gift shop. That's the most important part. That's my favourite part. Tidal zone and then tidal zone too. The most important part is the tidal zones. Yeah, also gift shop. Yeah, Yeah, where they have all the really good little lobsters. So in spirit of the series, we're going to have a look round, learn some stuff, have a mess around with boats and stuff. Probably not go on the soft play area. Probably not go on the soft play. Got a interactive boat thing. 
Oh, I can make it long. Oh god, come on. I love everything. Shallow. Lady Gaga. Let me go. You just saw. That's kind of. We should do that boat race thing. Hoping it'd be a bit. I guess I hope this would be a bit more. It's just sort of change the shape of the boat. Okay. Done. Interactive all fans, I thought it would be. What's what word should we give? <laughs> Hello everyone, we're all good. Um, we're, we're on the doorstep with oh, the nerdy right. Brit Zing. That's the title of the show. Right. Um, right. So what's... we're going to give James some words to try and get in the show. <laughs> Multiple. I, I said oh, only one, okay, what one, one word. So it's got to be, we've got to, we want to make sure it's not easy, but something that could feasibly be put in, but is niche enough. I, I, I'm getting paid to do this, I can't mess yeah, well, about no, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, so we want to make yeah. it so it makes sense with the show. Rest. That seems fair enough. Yeah. That seems fair enough. Rescue. Can I rescued? Oh. Rescue, like, rescuing, rescued, rescues, any rescue. any past yeah. tense, yeah. present tense, right, future tense, variant and, on the word rescue. I would try and get the word rescue in, boys. I would try. Mm. Right, I bet you're oh. going to change. Your battery's dying. Uh, it is. I've got a spare one in my pocket. Oh, it's slowing. It's slowing. It's, it's speeding up. It's quite impressive. Oh, that's the pirate cool. show, Jess. One word review of the pirate really, show. Really, really good. That's the not one word. One word. Arr. Timbers. I don't want to bother. It was very good. Uh, James was the captain. So they did it with three of them, and then they work on votes as to who's the captain and who isn't. And James got to be the captain, which was nice to see. And now we're. Oh, we're traipsing up the stairs. We're traipsing up every step ever made to the lookout. Because Jess has to leave us soon for work. We're working down. But don't worry, we will continue to look around the museum, go to the pirate exhibit, the tattoo exhibit. Exhibits. Exhibit A. Exhibit A, exactly. What do you think so far of the Maritime Museum? Like, you've never been here before? Um, I, I think it's really good. I. Obviously, have been here before, um, and they do little, um, they do different exhibits from time to time. So this time it's pirates. Last time there was um, like horrors of the deep, I think. Mm. Creatures of the deep. Creatures of the deep, I think. Creatures Monsters of the, of the deep. deep. Monsters of the deep, and it had like, the history of all the like sea monsters you see on our maps, um, all the weird stuff that yeah, really people would find while training, such as like mermaid skeletons and uh yeah bizarre little oddities so i really enjoyed that one the pirate one's very good too we will go soon don't worry i think good thing about the maritime museum is you pay for a ticket how much was it for our original ticket that you get for a year like 16 quid for a ticket but then that ticket is valid for a whole year so we paid for the tickets we used today a couple of weeks ago when we just came to our show originally and we still use those tickets and they're valid all year which is nice so it means because 16 quid seems quite a lot to get into a museum. Museums are sometimes free or not that much. It's like donations. But 16 quid for a year is good. And when they change the exhibits, it's nice to come and see what's going on. I'm not going to film a lot of this because it's a nudity. It's like a tattoo exhibit. I can probably show you that. But there's actual, like, I'm talking upper and lower anatomy. Oh, well, I was going to be a bit more nice with it, Parker, but no, you just said, like, I can see it, for, I'm not going to... Oh, it's actually Is it, like, squishy? squishy? This is no context. You can gather what's going on. It's, it's just a hand of walls. Right? Let's find the best hand ones. Hand of walls? It's just a hand of walls. Are you recording that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's find some good ones. So we've got uh, Jim Parsons as Sheldon Cooper. Uh, pick out a favourite. Oh, Mark Hamill. Doesn't look like Mark Hamill. Looks Terrifying, are they squishy? Oh, they are. They like um, anything else? Any Ooh, other good you. ones? I don't know who that is, but he's on an arm. A pigeon? Nose is on an arm. Pigeon. A piggy on. Don't worry, Parker. They're armless. Oh. Well, I guess they're armed, because they wouldn't be armless. 
So we're now in the uh, pirate exhibit bit. Um, so they've got some Sea of Thieves stuff. Um, I know we've been here. They've got some. They've got like a massive Sea of Thieves, um, like mannequin thing dressed in there. I've never played Sea of Thieves, but I'd like to play Sea of Thieves. It seems like a game that I'd love. Because I love like Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It's a great game. So yeah, I feel like I'd love Black, Black Flag or Sea of Thieves. Thieves I want to play Sea of Thieves. I've never played it, but it sounds cool. They've got some Lego. That looks but, yeah. like Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, no, it doesn't. But now we're going to go into the actual thing. You can't see me at all. Uh, but basically, down this, these stairs here, or ramp, I guess, you've got a selection of pirates. So we're going to go through them together. We've got Blackbeard from our tag means death. Played by Tacky Wacky. We have someone from Sea of Thieves. Oh, it's from Sea of Thieves, yeah. We have the best pirate to ever live. We have the pirate captain. Perhaps. I love that they included him. Yeah. Like, they didn't need to do that. Well, they can't but not. they went, it's, but it's not like exactly not, like, if you go name a fictional pirate, Pir pirate captain, uh, we've got some just three table build pirates, sure. We've got the one, obviously, with the captain Jack Sparrow, we've got Helen Garza. I don't think that's Helen It's Harris. not. We've got, uh, obviously, and then we've got some very old black and white swash poppers. Whom the name I do not know, and then some people. No, I think that's from a stage show before obviously film was came oh, about. Look. So, this is what we were talking about earlier where you've got these like mannequins, which are really cool. So, we're going to go through We've got Captain Flameheart from Sea of Thieves. I mean, I haven't played Sea of Thieves, but he looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, then we've got Jack. We've got just generic fashion. By Vivian Westwood. Much more generic. Uh, not generic, like fancy. It's by a fashion designer. Oh. Like well, it's like, it's like very fancy because you've got like this sort of pirate. And then you've got the like gentlemanly, distinguished pirates. And then we have the pirate hook question in the first production of Peter Pan. That's cool. I like his hook. Look at his hook. Well, that's a very cool hook. I want to get a hook for my golf game. So. They've also got like, this um, replica of Treasure Island, which is quite cool. It's like absolutely massive. Well, I would read it, but it's a lot of effort. Like, I would read it, but I really can't be bothered. It's just quite a few pages. Um, and they're very big pages, but it's very cool. Now, Parker's just made a very important point. In all of their representation of, like, pirate in media, like Sea of Thieves, Pirates of the Caribbean, like, over here, they've just got loads of posters. I've just shown in clips of, like, obviously all of their, like, pirates in media and Parker points out one important thing they haven't represented uh, that being the only real pirate film out there Muppet Treasure Island where's your replica of Kermit's outfit from that then or Tim Curry you can see it's all there piratey history pop culture media sort of an exhibition on pirates as a whole which is really cool and I like how they sort of change that through like, uh, they sort of change it every now and then, keep it fresh. It's very cool, very cool. We've come to the end of our Maritime Museum, National Maritime Museum experience. We have the most important part of any day out. It's the gift it's shop. shop. That was cretinous and loud and I hate it. Um, so they've got a wall of books, a mixture of sort of like history, like family centric ones, which is quite cool. How to survive in the Navy. No, they've got a lot of cool, like, um, nautical phrases, history, and, like, uh, shanties, and all the tattoo stuff to do with the tattoo exhibit they had, like, piratey stuff. Yeah, it's cool. So that is our day at the Maritime Museum done. Very fun. Love the Maritime Museum. It's just a nice sort of relaxing thing to go look around, to be honest. Like, it's not intense. It's not. It's just nice to have a look around, look at things. The fact that they have different Yeah, the fact they update it every now and yeah. then is lovely. Um, obviously, the show was good. I got a couple of clips of that. Yeah, it was a fun little day. Now we're going to go, and I'm hungry. I'm starving. I'm going to have a toasty, I reckon. I'm going to fall asleep. And it's really warm in this car, so I'm going to stop as soon as I can. Uh, thank you for watching. First episode of On, On My Doorstep. Step. Um, why is it in a northern accent? I don't know. Um, yeah, a bit of a different video I know, different, different series, but I keep saying I want to do more vloggy outdoor stuff, and now we're doing it with On My Doorstep. So, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next episode of On My Doorstep, we'll be going to somewhere. I've got a list on my phone. I was going to keep it away, but then I don't know where for definite. I've got places like the Penryn Museum's one of them, 
uh, St. Moore's Ferry is one of them. There's just a lot of little places that are on my doorstep that I've never done that I want to do. So, see you then. Subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.